This video is about a Roman tub faucet that was dripping. It's from Moen, and uh, it was dripping and had been dripping for a long time. So I went to the Moen site, and I found the part, and it said, hey, you need this extra tool to do the job. So I, I requested the cartridges and the tool, but they only sent the cartridges. And I made my own tool, and I pulled out the old cartridges and put in the new cartridges and uh, got the cartridges seated. So anyway, I, got, I looked at the parts diagram online, and I, and I read the instructions. And there's three different kinds. And uh, they say you could get it out with a needle and those pliers, but you really need to get it out with a tool or make your own tool like I did. And they give you these instructions, and they show you these are the, cart these are the tools you need. The one on the left is not useful. The one on the right is. And this is the cartridge. Anyway, I, was, I had a guarantee from my builder and I requested on the website, and they said, sure. I asked for the tool, the puller tool thing, but they didn't give me that. And I did some research, looked on Amazon, and found people that had trouble, so I didn't know what I was up against. So uh, I thought I'd just disassemble it before the cartridges came and see what I was up against. Maybe I could sort of see if it was going to be hard to get this out or not. So uh, like I said, this, there were, they had three different types, and I had the one with the... With the uh, um, the chrome nut on it and uh, they're not too hard to take apart and you don't have to take turn off the water to do this part this part is um, is uh, is just the mechanics that gets the twist of the knob down into the cartridge so these are just some plastic nylon parts I guess call it and uh, just put on the little screws and then there's the uh, the chrome extension thing, or not extension but uh, trim piece and you get if you you could see some two little um, things there you can get the needle nose pliers in there so you don't have to mar up the the chrome to to get that started they came off pretty easy anyway they weren't that tight i'm alternating back and forth between the two hot and cold so uh, just whichever one had a better shot i'm i'm holding the camera in my one hand and trying to work with the other hand <laughs> Uh, so anyway, this is what it looks like once you get it all taken apart without the water turned off. And there's one nut that's holding the cartridge down. They call that the cartridge nut. And I'm not going to take that off until I turn off the pressure and have the new cartridges. But that's what it looks like down there. So I've just got the, um, the, uh, the handles off sitting there. And I'm um, waiting for the cartridges to arrive from Moen. And uh, I'm pleased that they, that they didn't make a big deal about it. They went ahead and honored the, uh, the lifetime warranty and sent me two cartridges, one for the hot and one for the cold. So I'll get, a, get to installing them now. So first thing I had to do, though, because they didn't send me the, the tool, the, the uh, puller tool, or I don't want to call it the puller tool, whatever it is. Anyway, the di dimensions are like 23 millimeters. And it turns out that these um, copper pipes of three-quarters size, type M anyway, is the right size. And so if you look down there, you can sort of see these notches. And so I just eyeballed it, um, took a hacksaw to the end of this um, copper pipe and uh, put a couple of um, uh, notches in there and then took those edges off. And I had the tool that I think will work. I don't know for sure. So I stuck it down in there and it locked in. And, uh, and uh, so I was, I was pretty confident that it was going to work. So... I turn it, turn the um, the water off, and uh, and uh, attempted to pull out the uh, cartridge nut, nylon, just a nylon cartridge nut that holds the cartridge in place. And these were not tight at all. Now I had sprayed a little bit, just a little bit of WD-40. I'm not sure that's a good idea. In fact, the manufacturer probably doesn't recommend that, but I did, <clears throat> just a tiny bit um, down in there, and these came right off without a problem at all which was handy. Um, I didn't have to use a pliers or anything like that on the pipe. I just, I just stuck the pipe down there. It locked into place. I just grabbed it with my hand and did get a twist that came right off. So these cartridge nuts are just, just this nylon thing. So that's all there is to it. And so the next thing is to get the old cartridge out. And so I use this long screw um, to just go in to 
you know, drill into the tap, the top of the um, old cartridge, and a plot, uh, excuse me, a claw hammer with a couple of pieces of wood there to raise that up to pull it as straight out as I could. It's not as straight as I would have liked. I uh, would have liked to really go straight up, but it's kind of off to the side here a little bit, but it came out okay. And there it is. And uh, here's the other one. Now, this one I actually did first. And I had reduced the pressure. I had taken the pressure off of the pipes by opening the sink valve. But I didn't release the pressure in the tub. <laughs> so when I pulled this, this, this is the first one, like I said, this is the first one I pulled out. And all the water <laughs> started coming up out of there and went onto the floor and stuff. So I had to run and get a towel. Uh, not, a, not a huge deal, though. Um, and then this, they recommend using a nylon brush to scrub the valve body, which I did. I happen to have this from my brewing equipment, and so I said, hey, why not use this to fit perfectly? It was like made for the job. I don't know what you're going to do if you don't have a bottle brush, um, but uh, that's what they recommend. And then they recommend flushing out the valve body. So I, I uh, got these towels and bowls rigged up. Go ahead. And, uh, I turned down the volume so I wouldn't blow out your eardrums as my well, I yell at my wife to turn on turn and off the water. But it it came out a pretty 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 well there. You know, quite a bit of water, enough to get rid of the debris. So there's a notch in there. This is the this is the notch on the on the cartridge itself, and you have to make those two line up. And in order to do that, uh, I I uh, I thought I would you know push it down, twist it, and have it drop in place. Oh, but before that, uh, you have to get the water out. I use this turkey baster. This is a twisting idea that doesn't work. Don't, I, don't try this. Uh, I thought I'd push it down, not lined up, and then twist it until it lined it up, and I felt it go down those three or four millimeters. But that didn't work. You just basically have to line it up first. So make a mark on the top. And measure down with the old one. Before you take the old one out, measure down, and then you'll know for a fact if you've got it down all the way or if it's like this. So you don't want it, obviously you don't want it like that. So I didn't have any video of me pushing those in, but basically all I did was push them straight down and use that copper pipe that, that I'm using now. I just use that to push straight down. And so I got both of the, um, the cartridge nuts in place and tightened just by hand. And then I turned on the water and when I came back, I didn't have them off. I, I couldn't tell which way it was off. Anyway. So I'll just getting it turned off now. And so um, now, now both cartridges are in place with the cartridge nuts tightened down, just, just hand tight. And I'm looking for leaks here, and I don't see any leaks. So that's good. I didn't expect a leak there at all because they, they went in nice and nice and smoothly and I don't know for sure if they're down all the way but I, I'm pretty sure they are so then I wanted to wait and see if it really fixed the drip so uh, I waited till the next day and I had this cart or this this uh, cup put under there and sure enough dry the next day so that um, that worked so now it's just a matter of um, putting the trim back on and and reassembling these now the, the the trick to this is not really a trick basically if you put it in one way it will turn on to the right if you put it in the other way it'll turn on to the left and depending upon your handles you'll want it you'd figure out which way to do that it's no big deal it's a 50 50 shot of getting it right and if it's not right you flip it over and do it. so i got it right on that particular one and uh, so now it's just a matter of uh, reassembling this there's there's a nut that goes or excuse me a screw that goes to hold this extension in place, and then there's the the um, chrome nut that goes on the top, and then the screw that holds the knob on, and then the knob. So it, the rest of the video, you can stop now because there's nothing interesting uh, at the end of this. It's just me putting it back together. Um, so if you're uh, looking for saving time, you can you can sign off. Hopefully it was helpful for you. But uh, the rest of this is just putting the knobs back on, which is pretty, uh, pretty uh, obvious. And nobody needs a YouTube video to, <laughs> to take a screw out of the top of a knob. Uh, you might not even need a YouTube video to replace the cartridge either. 
But uh, you know, there were a few little interesting tidbits in there that uh, that I thought were um, might have been helpful to someone who was trying to get up the courage to to do this job. I, I know I, I had a couple of things. You know, I had the copper and I had the uh, I had the uh, bottle brush and stuff. So anyway, that's the that's the video. Um, hopefully, it was helpful for you.